Well, the first thing I would say is the importance of uh, being sure you're called and knowing what God has called you to do. No voice will be superior to the voice of the Holy Spirit in your life and in your calling. I tell people, no revelation, no ministry, <laughs> because it is God that calls people. Uh, after that, I will emphasize mentoring. It's very important. I watched the generation before ours. I watched our own generation. I just found out the people that have done well on a sustainable basis are those that submitted to mentoring. The terrain is shifting and our own is actually even warfare, it's spiritual warfare. So it helps a lot to have mentors to guide us. Uh, and then finally, I'll say to young ministers, be bold to pursue the uniqueness of your ministry. God does not make duplicates. When you start out, you start on the same principles that you have seen the older ones run. Even some of the practices, but somewhere along the line, you will find out God wants you to do something different. You'll just find out you have, you're thinking differently. You're having different ideas, different dreams. Be open to experimenting while still receiving counsel. Okay, so you don't go off course. So for a season, God puts Paul apart so that that uniqueness can evolve. He tests the calling, gets results. Then he goes back to Jerusalem. He says, I want those guys to still look at this thing so that I'll be sure I haven't run in vain. He says, and when they saw the grace that was given to me and Barnabas, they gave us the right hand of fellowship. He said, the one that worked effectively in Peter, apostleship to the circumcised. In other words, Peter got his best results with Jews. He said, they saw that it was the same person working with me, but my own best results are with Gentiles. Pursue your uniqueness because that's how, whatever is coming in the world, God has wired people to take care of it. <laughs>